So I'm attempting to make a butter candle. So that was some unsalted Lando Lex butter. Only had one stick left. See, this is what happens when you're bored and it's snowing outside and you can't go anywhere. But anywho, I put some garlic powder in there. And then we're gonna put some parsley flakes in there. And then I have some Parmesan Romano grated cheese and we're gonna put some more in there. And then I'm gonna put some all spice a little bit on there. There's some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Okay, we're gonna microwave it for about a minute and a half. So now I'm stirring it up and now the cheese has clumped up. I had sh should have broken that up so, uh, better before I put it in the microwave. So I had to get rid of those big chunks of cheese there. So now you see it's smoother. We smoothed it out there. Now the only problem is I don't have a edible candle wick. I want to try and use a uncooked piece of spaghetti. So we'll see how that works. So we have to get a plastic disposable cup and then we're gonna pour our mixture in there And then I asked my son if I should add some onions in there. He said, yeah, go ahead. So I had to chop up some onions. This is red onion. I got it on a slow mode here for y'all. All right, so we're mixing everything. We're gonna get everything incorporated. We sound fancy when we say incorporated. Like we have a lot of ingredients in there, y'all. But it's really only a few. So we're gonna have to cover this. I'm gonna cover it with foil and refrigerate it. I'm not sure how long for, at least a couple of hours. And then we'll see what we have, y'all. Two thousand years later. Okay, so it took about an hour to two hours for this to harden back up. And so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It definitely looks like a traditional candle. Um, all the ingredients kind of fell to the bottom though. I was a little disappointed in that. I'm just showing you guys how I cut down the sides to try to loosen that, that mold, get that mold out of the butter so yeah y'all so that's what it's looking like i think it looks kind of pretty it looks a little fancy there now i'm using the spaghetti noodle the uncooked spaghetti noodle because i looked it up and it said you can do that so we're gonna try and see what it does i got some crackers i had baked some biscuits but i had they got burnt y'all so i decided to use crackers and so we're gonna try to end up lighting this uncooked spaghetti noodle here. Let's see what happens. So these are some old school matches that I've had for years. And very hard to light. And it blew right on out, y'all. It went right on out. So I'm gonna try it again. Because the idea for this is for the butter, you know, mixture to slowly melt and you can dip your bread or your crackers in it or whatever. So this time it stayed a little, little bit longer. 
But it's going to blow out again, y'all. So this was a fun experiment. I decided to take that noodle out and microwave it. I think I microwaved it a little bit too long. It was like a minute again. And, um, you know, so we have a little soupy mess here. But it still looks good. So I decided to take those crackers out before the crackers ruined the butter mixture. And, um... The crackers actually taste really, really good with that butter mixture on it, y'all. And so, I may try this again in the future, but it's still delicious. It worked out, but not the way I wanted it to work out. I really wanted it to be in the candle form. Well, maybe next time.